I bought two of these from eBay. They are 120 millimeter tubes for holding uh, mortars and missiles and projectiles. Very nice indeed. And uh, let's look at this. They seem to have a lot of them. They're around 50 bucks each and uh, another $60 to ship because I'm sure they're pretty heavy. So I did buy two of them from eBay. Um, when they do come over, I will show you what I do with them. This should be a fun video. Well, it's a snowy morning here in uh, North Carolina. Most of the snow is melted, but uh, a couple of hours ago, it was about two inches thick over there. All right, so I got here all the parts I designed, they came in. Uh, this is steel and I had it bent as well. Um, these are brackets for my missile tube to mount them. And uh, I'll be mounting it over here on my Humvee. See, there's Matilda. The parts I got cut from Send Cut Send. I designed these on the computer myself and got them laser cut. So I think these are going to look really beautiful once I get them mounted. So I've laid it out the way I think I'm going to mount it. I'll be mounting it in the front and in the rear. And um, after that, I'll paint the brackets green uh, and the tube. I'll do some patchwork, camo, you know. Painted like the rest of the Humvee. Okay, so I just painted my 120mm mortar tube with 383 green cork substitute. This is from Rapco Paints. This is really good stuff. I'm totally sold on it. It looks so great. It's sort of self-leveling and uh, it dries really fast with this lovely green. Beautiful. Very nice indeed.
So the holes are drilled and they match up properly to the bracket. Now I'll be using a rivet gun and these one eight size rivets along with some washers on the underneath. There's the first rivet holding it in place. Let's do the rest. sturdy this one didn't really go flush with the body so I skipped it and put a rivet right there that should work there it is it looks pretty good I think look at how nicely these star cutouts and a little missile on it came I do have to cut these bolts down or do something different because uh, the inner bolts um, seem to hit the lid when I open it so I have to walk on that a little bit let me show you what I did in the back I have this triangular piece of metal this is steel um, and I'll be riveting it to the Humvee at the bottom and bolting it into the back of the tube. To fill my missile tube, I bought one of these 3D printed replicas of a 120 millimeter mortar. Look at that, it's 3D printed and it's uh, quite realistic looking. I think it would look great at car shows if I open the tube up and one of these babies are sitting inside. They're around $75, close to 100 if you want it painted and stenciled. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. And look what arrived in the mail. How beautiful is this? This is a 3D replica, not real. Uh, made of plastic, 3D printed. But look how beautiful and detailed it is. Quite realistic. With the stenciling and everything. This is going to be great at car shows. I've used rivets, one on each side, to fasten this and make it a little tighter. Uh, I've also removed the nuts and bolts that were there earlier. And I've used what they call Chicago screws. So that's flat on one side, low profile, and a flathead screwdriver 
on the other side. They tighten up pretty well and I think it looks pretty good. I've also repainted the, the cap. So once I put that back and put the screw on, it should look quite complete. Let's go around to the back. What I've done in the back over here is um, use the bolt to bolt it down and two flathead, uh, not flathead, two hex self-tapping screws in the back and a bunch of rivets as well. So uh, this is pretty solid and going nowhere. I still have to paint uh, the camo, the black, the brown and the green and do some stenciling on the tube itself. But I don't think I'll include that in this video, probably the paint video.